Hello everybody, my name's Bill and I know stuff. And today I know how to take your widescreen or your landscape videos and put them in the portrait format. It's really easy to do with Shotcut and I'm gonna walk you through it. I've already got a clip of a mountain goat that just walked past us while we were out hiking. It's a really nice clip, it's not very long. I wanna turn this into a short. So I just want the center section ideally but I want to try to keep the animal in frame the whole time. To do that, you're going to need to select a custom format, which doesn't come with Shotcut, but it's easy to add. So go to Custom, Add, and I already have one, so I'm walking through this. I'll call this YouTube Shorts number two. you want to change the resolution you're just going to reverse it so it's 1080 by 1920 same thing with the ratio you're going to go 9 by 16 and you don't have to change the frames or anything like that so just click OK you can also create a square format that's one by one if you want to do that so now there's my video mode and that's the widescreen picture shoehorned into that which is not what I want now we need to size this up so it fills the frame. We're going to go to Filters, click the Add button, and add Size, Position, and Rotate. And then we're going to take Zoom and zoom it out as much as you want. Now this is up to you. I'm going to basically fill it. I might have a little bit of a gap at the top or bottom when I'm done. Alrighty, now I'm happy. Let's play the clip and let's watch and see what's going on. Now, I'd like to keep the mountain goat in the frame. And you can see that's not happening because I was using a, a wider screen. But now, we're going to use the exact same filter. And we're going to go to keyframes. And using keyframes, you can see the picture sized out. We're just going to hit that keyframe, you'll see it generate the one right in the middle. And then we can slide this over. And I'm gonna keep zeroing that one out. Um, so I have a good point of reference and I don't, I'm not moving up and down. You can, you can do that if you want. And then I'm just gonna shift a few frames with the timeline and then I'm gonna adjust that to bring that over. And you probably have to iterate through this a bit until you're happy with it. But you don't have to go frame by frame because the keyframes will actually, you know, move that along at about that speed to keep things framed up the way you want them. I'm just going through to see if the, the mountain goat gets out of frame at any point and I want to add any more movement in there and I'm not I, I think I'm happy with that so let's go ahead and get it back on the timeline and I'm going to play it through real quick to see if I'm satisfied with the framing looking good so far and you notice that's relatively smooth I, I mean you, you it seems like you were keeping the animal in frame the whole time Now we're going to save it in case we want to come back and make changes later. And then let's go ahead and export it. We want to be in YouTube, export file, save it as something. And now we have to wait for it to save. I'm just going to jump ahead. All right, there we go picture looks nice and framing looks good and you can see I got a little bit of a black bar down at the bottom and if you want to get rid of that um, you can certainly size it up a little bit more it's up to you I think I'm happy with that just the way it is now you can go back and re-edit that if you want to add captions sound effects anything like that but it'll already be sized down so you don't have to have to worry about doing that again all right, everybody, that's how you take your widescreen and convert it into narrow screen. I'm Bill. I know stuff. 
Hope that was helpful. If it was, please hit that like button. If it was really helpful, maybe think about subscribing because I can use all the friends I can get. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.